for the Westaco East Boys cross country team, a district championship is not far fetched. With some top runners coming back and talented newcomers, the team is set to make noise not only locally, but across the state. Right now, including me, we have four guys who are really solid, and then if these freshmen can step it up, I, I think we have a really good shot. Davis finished in the top 10 individually in district last year. You feel good? But it is this young man, Aaron Nava, who will lead the Wildcats to the promised land. As a freshman, Aaron stamped his name in South Texas, winning numerous meets, culminating with a district title. Already a top runner, the sophomore dedicated his summer competing at the AAU Junior Olympic Games, running against top runners in the nation. I became an All-American placing 7th for the 3K and then 11th in the 1500. Definitely gave me a confidence boost. Ready, set, go! This year's girl squad is senior heavy. A great place to start for a team off a trip to regionals and are looking to get back. Mareli Cuellar is off a strong start so far, already capturing an individual title at the Westaco ISD Invitational. Oh, Marelli, good job. I think we got it. You know, we've been training since the summer. We lost a few girls. We're a little short this year, but I think if we all stick together and have like a fighting mentality, I think we can make it. However, two of the top returners are underclassmen. Sophomore Andrea Quintero and Let's junior Dea Martinez were among the top 20 in district last year. Their experience and improvement gives Westaco East a great shot this season. They're really good runners, you know. Taya started off without even running, coming in her freshman year, and now she's like one of our top runners. And Andrea, uh, a sophomore, she's starting off and she's already pushing paces more than anyone. You know, she's pushing the team for the best they can be. For KWS TV, I'm Mike Gonzalez.